everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Tropical 5. If you missed the last episode, you should probably watch it. We, uh, you know, entrenched ourselves firmly with the dirty, dirty allies. And now the Axis have come to liberate us. Our objective is survive to survive the invasion, and then we get an alliance with the allies. So, um, okay. Slow down time here a little bit. We've got a decent supply of soldiers on our island. You know what we don't have? We don't have any tanks. Uh... Starting to think that maybe I should rethink this and maybe also invest in some sea defenses because good lord, that seems crazy. I'm just going to make this as a high priority target. Um, you know, with 31,000, do we even have like tanks we can build? An army base research the tanks technology. In research, can I just accept tanks right now? 18 months estimate, but I have a free research, right? I have free research, it should just be done. Oh well, um, I don't think that's gonna work out for me. So, you know, I don't actually know oh, our odds here, but I have to imagine that they are pretty low of actually being able to succeed. So our, al our alliance with the Axis, or sorry, the Allies, might actually end up falling through here, unless, I don't know, we get lucky and we just kind of throw like a pipe bomb under their tank or something? Okay, what's going on here? My dear friend. The leader of the resistance is in dire need of our help again. Due to a series of events that would be quite amusing under different circumstances, they have run out of carrier pigeons. So they need new animals to use as messengers. We need to build ranches of all types. Okay. Um, we already have some llama ranches. Do we have a... I'm, I'm ignoring the fact that I'm about to die over there. Um, we have a pig ranch. Let's build another ranch here quickly. Uh, oh, that's a plantation. I always get those confused. We're gonna need a goat ranch. Maybe like, uh, here, for example. And where's the... I always forget where the road is. There we go. And we also need a cattle ranch. Um, again, I clicked on plantation because I'm an idiot. Cattle ranch we can put, uh, maybe right next to it. Not quite uneven terrain. Well, yeah, but barely. Alright, we'll get both of those built. I kind of wish there was just a surrender option, because I'm pretty sure there's not a whole lot we can do here. In my defense, it's 1921, I didn't really expect tanks to be uh, in major play here. Especially for such a, you know, backwater resort ty type uh, town here. Oh, you know what? We already had a cattle ranch, I think, that I mistakenly didn't realize. But that's alright, more jobs for the populace, I suppose. I believe that the Axis are going to take over my palace now. And I don't know what's going to happen when that happens, but maybe I'll end up being like a puppet dictator or something like that. Because as of present, our troops have all run away. To nowhere. Maybe the barracks is where they're going to? This doesn't bode very well for me though. Sure, yeah, high priority. Defend the rum distillery! Don't take the rum distillery, please! Um, housing happiness is pretty bad. Our second barracks still hasn't been built. That was right here, right? Oh my god. It's 1% away from being done, but it's never going to finish now. You're right. Yeah, we're pretty much screwed here. I probably should have just towed the line a little bit as opposed to actually trying to form like an alliance with one of these uh, factions. We're losing population. Luckily, we're still beloved, kind of. But this doesn't bode too well. Um, housing happiness is up a little bit. That's good, I suppose. People are going to start to be a lot less pleased with the whole situation once they figure out that, you know, we're dying. Like, all of our troops are dead. In fact, I'm pretty sure we have no military now. Don't break the rum distillery! Don't break the rum distillery! Is that all you've got? Please do not break the rum distillery! I, I hit retreat. I don't know what that's going to do for me, though. Um... S sincerely, the textile mill also a pretty important part of my, uh, you know, global economy. Oh, no. I can rebuild it. It's expensive. I don't know when they're actually gonna leave is the thing. Do they just continue ravaging us? I doubt it, but... Man. A little scary. Luckily, the people still like me, though. Um, how could they not, right? What are you shooting at? Oh, you're, you're all shooting at the textile mill. Okay, re retreat. Might as well, we'll rebuild it from the ground up. Thanks a lot, jerks. This is why nobody wants to join your freaking side. I should probably invest in a more... 
professional military, if I had to guess. Um, please tell me they don't just destroy everything. Like, oh. We did actually finish the, uh... I thought we finished one of our ranches? Yeah, okay. Um, let's take another free technology. By the way, thank you, allies, for, for coming to my aid here. So there goes our llama ranch. Do we seriously, like, not... Or do we not have the ability to research things here? Sovereign debt. Hmm. Early elections. Should probably maybe do that. Paid health care. Ah, smear campaign? That's something I should do uh, when elections come to pass. Good show, old chap. Those what? Axis fellows give me the heebie-jeebies. I'm afraid this old... Did I actually... I will have to consort with those... I must have failed the invasion. The Yet such is the but I will take two free buildings. Do I have... I don't have an alliance with the Allies now, surely. The Illuminati High Council held its usual drawing of lots to decide who has to die to kick off the Great War. Okay. Um... Let's let somebody else deal with this. Okay, we got other stuff to deal with here. Rebuild. Llama Ranch is coming back. Textile Mill is coming back. Rum Distillery. Definitely coming back. Um, guard Tower should come back. Did, we, did anything else get destroyed? I don't think so. Some of these places have nobody to work at them, but I trust that, you know, the forces that be will allow them to work themselves out pretty quickly. So their tanks are finished. Um... Let's get uh, generals for military skills. Maybe socialism after that. All right, so that was ill-advised. I'm I'm not a happy man for the problems that resulted there, but they were all my fault. And now you know you live and learn, right? You, nobody ever uh, makes the perfect island paradise on their first try. Everything's being rebuilt here. You know what? Quick build that llama uh, ranch. Everything else, you know, quick building is not going to be possible. How does our society look right now? Relatively happy, all things considered, even though happiness is going to go down a little bit as a result of, you know, losing that war. There's more unemployed than jobs, but that'll change. And there's only six homeless. That's not so bad. So as more and more things get built here, life is going to be... You know what? Ah, oh, we can't really quick build that. In fact, there's no point to quick building it because it's going to be the first thing completed anyway, I think. Um, but there is a point to quick building some other stuff to give people jobs if we get enough money. Where are the when do the boats come in? Uh, right now, basically. Alright, so we've basically got our plantations going, which is um, helping us to complete that mission. But I think we already completed the mission, to be honest with you. And ranches hire four people, so uh, our unemployment issue should basically sort itself out in a second here. And we'll wait for some more money to come in. Can we praise? Let's. What about delegation? How does delegation work? Are you sure you want to send a delegation? You will receive a special request from the Allies completed to improve your foreign relations. Okay. Build a new logging camp for plus 20 ally relations. And plus $2,500 when the task is accepted and upon completion. Um, well, we'll see. Well, hello there, old pal. America is all gloomy and doomy at the moment. I can't have that. There's one thing I can't abide, it's mopery. All right, so Teddy Roosevelt wants us to export fruit. We'll export fruit. We don't produce any fruit, but we can always make, like, a banana plantation or something like that. Can we? Can we just change this corn to bananas? Oh, that's a terrible idea. Um, we could change some of the sugar to bananas, maybe? No, also pretty dumb. Uh, we could change this crop to bananas? Slightly better. Uh, we'll just do this until it's done, basically. That might impact rum production, which really needs to get built sometime soon, please. Why is building everything so slow? Okay, 11,000 gold helps out a lot. $11,000. Um, so, we need to export fruit. Better housing happiness. How do we improve housing happiness? Maybe we could build, like, uh, some uh, gardens. Large garden. Increases beauty in the vicinity. Why do you want me to build it over here? It seems like way smarter to build it around these houses. Okay, maybe this is not what we want to do then. Maybe we want to build another... Um, hmm. Some more country houses? Maybe? I don't know. I feel like I'm... 
starting to be out of my weight class here. We're really losing the public support here, but maybe housing happiness will go up. At the very least, it should allow us to get more population. The resistance seems to be on its feet again. Build a textile mill. I will accept because we're going to do that anyway, and it's in the process of being completed. So that feels good. Um, I really want this rum distillery to get off the ground, though. How's this banana plantation? Oh, not not doing so hot, really. But here comes the ship. Maybe we'll finally be able to export some fruit. We just got to remember to change it back to sugar at some point. Nine citizens arrived in Tropico. Happiness is way the heck down. Is the guard the guard tower still not built? Good lord. We need more builders. Maybe if I up the uh, budget of the construction uh, office, they'll be a little bit happier to work. Okay, happiness is going back up. It went from 58 to 61, I think. Has uh, unemployed 14, open jobs 0. That'll sort itself out. The textile mill will be uh, like another 9 workers or, or 6 workers. Um, we can see here. Oh, it's only 90% done. Just finish the job. Any minute now, this job will be complete. I could spend 15000 to get it done. That seems like a kind of a dumb idea, though. The resistance and the French nation um, cool. We'll take... We'll take 5,000 as opposed to, uh, you know what, we can put 3,000 in our Swiss account, but let's take 5,000 instead. Alright, this is done. This is like 10 workers. That's a lot better. Let's up the budget on that like crazy. Do we need a manager there? Um, could we get a manager there? Left click to hire. Okay, apparently not. Oh, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted. Let's get a uh, supervisor hire. I feel like I'm getting some kind of bug there, but that's okay. We'll exit out. Maybe just because it just got completed, that's problematic. Um, plenty of money now. Happiness doing all right. Unemployed should sort itself out. How many homeless? Six. That's pretty okay. As our population starts to grow a little bit more, keeping that number good seems smart. Um, our rum distillery is almost done. We discovered a way to decrease All right, so we got generals, basically. Do we have more research coming? Socialism and... This is fine for now. Let's just keep this as is. Now, we need to build an army base for the next time we actually want to declare... Uh, well, want to get an invasion declared, basically. So, uh, I'll see if I can build that right now. That'll be under military. Army base provides a squad of tanks. 15,000 for three jobs is super, super bad. But the tanks are our only reasonable way to actually, like, win a war here. Okay, where's the arrow? Points that way. Now it must point this way. Let's use the, um, this right here. Okay. Just want to make sure that it actually connects to the road, you know? And it should be like that. That seems pretty solid. We'll just build a, a road quickly to make this work. We'll probably need at least two of these military bases if I had to guess. But for now, this is fine. Alright, I'm starting to feel like we're prospering a little bit again. There we go. That's the view I want. Alright. Speed up time. Please. Rum Distillery is open again. Allies have sent us a bunch of money. Put that money into the Rum Distillery. Can we upgrade the Rum Distillery? Dunderstill consumes 25% less raw resources. That seems super useful. Can we upgrade our textile mill? Effectiveness is in- Whoa! Protesting. Where? Where's the protest? There's so many things going on right now. Um, here it is. Okay. Buy protesters or negotiate? Let's negotiate. I have always tried to set a good example of loyalty to other tropicats. Sadly. Not too many of them follow the guide to loving El Presidente that I personally wrote. Alright, there's a few black llamas among your herd that were seen by members of the militarists burning the guide in their backyards. The sooner you get rid of one of crime lords, the better for Tropico. Okay, so we should build a police station. Suggested building police station. That makes a lot of sense and will also provide some jobs and some decrease in crime. So we can keep... Uh, Living in our island paradise here, as as Coolio said, I believe. Uneven terrain? Really? Come on. It's not that uneven. What about the uneven terrain? Seriously? What if I altered the deal slightly? Objects underneath, uneven terrain. Starting to hate this island a little bit. There we go. We'll put the police station right next to the church. 
And I think a road can actually reach it, so that should be fine. Housing happiness is going up again. All the buildings are complete except for uh, this army base and, of course, the police station, which I just started to build. Fruit is being exported. I feel like we're doing alright again. I kind of want to call early elections, but I want to wait until I have more money so I can, like, effectively run smear campaigns and stuff like that. Because what's the point of being a dictator if you can't be a little bit corrupt? But all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the way things are going here. Thank God we have a ship coming in, because our uh, money situation is getting a little dire. There we go. Start exporting some fruit here. And rum distillery bumping again. Lifetime profit, 4,700. Making progress. Tanks are going to start to be produced here. We can't upgrade it until the Cold War, but that's okay. All right. So we we're giving like $20,000 uh, per ship here, which is crazy. It's going to take forever for our fruit to actually be done, but that's okay. Importing fish from Cuba seems like such a stupid idea to keep doing. Um, maybe we can start exporting something else. Exporting steel. No. Importing rum. Absolutely not. Exporting bauxite. Uh, maybe we'll just keep importing fish for now. I don't, obviously I have a pretty rudimentary knowledge of the, a rudimentary understanding I should say of like the production and supply and demand system in the game, but this seems to be working out totally fine for me right now, so I don't really see a need to, uh, to adjust it so much. So we should have police officers come here soon. Um, we're gonna raise the budget of our police station so we can get rid of the crime lords as soon as possible. 67%. Seems like a pretty sweet also, approval rating as well. We also need to build a logging camp. I kind of, I just want to like build it and then demolish it. Unless we could actually build it, um, raw resources. Unless we could actually build it like over here and it would be okay. I might just like, can I just get rid of this? No. How much does a logging camp cost? Free. Well, okay. Not enough trees in the area to actually build the logging camp. Are you kidding me? I know it looks like it sucks, but I just want to build it and then take my reward and then leave, so... There you go. And we'll also build a, a road leading to it. The road's going to be the most expensive part. As soon as it gets built, we're just going to demolish it. I might actually quick build it. What's the quick build cost? 960. There you go. We'll do that. Uh, and that should give us the task reward immediately. Huh? Any second now. I assure you. There we go. Um, so that gave us 2,500 and extra allied support, I think. And now we'll demolish it. Alright. I don't think it was worth keeping up. We have a loading screen, followed by what I assume is going to be another task. Building permit netted you 2145 this year. That's pretty solid. Alright, so he asked me to have two barracks. I already have them, so that quest should just complete like instantly. And I'll just wait for this to work itself out here. Um, I guess they already gave us the reward. Let's get a fire brigade and a radio dispatch for our situation. Fruit's going all right. Housing happiness is not getting any better. Are there edicts I could issue that would make health or housing happiness a little bit better? No, doesn't appear so. Doesn't appear so at all. Um. Cool, let's just keep doing what we're doing for now. I think this is going reasonably well. 76% approval seems good, so you know what? Maybe we'll just uh, go for some early elections again. Alright, issues elections after 12 months. We're going to run as ourselves, because we have a really nice, uh, you know, base of support in the in the community here. I really doubt that they can make up the difference between 71% and 29% in the next little while. Especially if I can get rid of these crime lords. Hopefully. Uh, in the meantime, what's the next thing I'm going to do? One... You know, troop of tanks or one battalion of tanks seems okay. But you know what's better than one squad of tanks? A billion squads of tanks. Yeah, I mean, true, but that's going to be kind of difficult to support, I would have to imagine. But we'll build a second military base over here. Fabio Ibinuzov. Ibin Ibinuzov? Ibanazov? Ibanaz? I'm terrible at my pronunciation here. Those were all Russian. Ibanos, it's got to be. Fabio Ibanos, I my apologies. Damien Durst still really outclassing him. I don't even think we're going to need to do anything here. Something big is happening in Europe. Huge battle plans. Operation Codenames. The whole shebang, if I may put it so bluntly. Pleas for help have arrived from both sides. All right. Battle of the Hindenburg Line. Send a dynasty member and an army to support the Allies. I will do that. I'm going to send Octavio Durst, the spaceman. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. T-1000. 
till the Germans come across the Rhine. I'm not the dictator that I was at home. I'm a rocket man. I don't know why I committed so hard to that joke, but to be honest with you, I'm glad that I did. I am. President, they don't research that. Don't you know that if you do, you will then research socialism, which everyone knows is bad. We should stick to our current model of capitalist cronyism. I, my friends, and all my relatives think that is the best model for government. All right, so we've unlocked socialism. Uh, I think what I'm going to do with that is... Let's get accounting, too. I think what I'm going to do with that is issue an edict for... Um, uh, oh, this is the World War section. Uh, there was an issue for, like, mortgage subsidies? I th oh, maybe that's in the Cold War era. Oh, that sucks. Um, well, we can do Social Security. Guarantees at least poor wealth level for all kids, students, and... Oh, there's mortgage subsidies. Sorry, 2000 Lowers the wealth required for living in all residential buildings. $20 per residence. I'm gonna do it, though. Because I think that'll raise our housing happiness high enough to f maybe fucking finally get this off of our to-do list. Um, but it's going to take some time, obviously, for that to kind of trickle down. So, I think we should probably start working on another um, another road here. I know we just built one kind of out in this general direction. Is this actually a road? It is. It doesn't build properly. Uh, okay. Maybe we can build it down first and then across. Alright, that seems smart. And we're going to build like some... I don't know why it won't let me build uh, more roads here, unless I'm missing something, like, super obvious. Basically, I'm trying to build out more roads um, so that we can have more uh, areas to develop here. There must be stuff that is just in the way here. And, you know, that's fine, but also annoying. Wow, this is a, a really nice-looking kind of road network here. Yeah, there you go. All right. Um, I can at least put some houses over there, I suppose. And we'll see how these mortgage subsidies affect... Uh, you know, how people feel about housing happiness. Because right now it hasn't grown too, too much. There's another military base. That's good. Uh, I'm not really concerned about happiness now. Homelessness, three. Okay. Unemployed, five with two open jobs. Yeah, that seems right. Well, if we have five unemployed people, we should build something that uh, gives us five jobs. Perhaps a college is finally in order. Six jobs. That seems perfect. Let's put a college down, like, right, yeah. I This is where, you know, my terrible city planning is starting to kind of, uh, come to the forefront of my my mind as I, like, am unable to place any buildings. Well, you know what, we'll start, uh, getting this new area up and running over here. Oh, there's another road already there, maybe that's why we couldn't build it out like that. That's probably where the logging camp used to be, and I'm just an idiot. Housing happiness still has not really gone up, which is surprising to me. And we're doing really well on, on import and export here, but... And, you know, of course we're going to win this election as well. Oh, we have another task. Our brave soldiers are either fighting against tyranny and oppression, or for it. I always forget which. Alright, so we got to give troops meat. I can do that. How's our political situation right now, if I look at, um... The Almanac. Politics. So we have... Good military loyalty... Really good relations with the Allies, of course. Um, factions. Militarists are in good standing, or we're in good standing with them. Religious, good standing. There's more voters that are religious than military, though, or militaristic. And we're in poor standing with the communists and good standing with the capitalists. It might be good if we get something that makes us a little bit more uh, popular with the communists. You know, stay in, um, stay in their good books. Social Security would probably do that. Um... Sure, ten dollars per unemployed citizen. That we seems all right. To the we can win without cheating. We don't need to cheat in this election. We already have the magic number: sixty-nine percent of voters. That's perfect. And again, we don't have that many homeless. We have very few people that are without a job, all things considered. If we look at our people here: three people without a job, one homeless. That's actually kind of excellent. The election results are in. All right, so we won again. Sixty-two votes for us, twenty-nine against. We should really get people to vote more often, but I guess as long as it's working out fine for me, that's the only thing that matters. So, no more elections necessary. Just figured, why don't we capitalize on it while well, things are still good for us? Now, eleven new citizens means we are going to need new jobs. The fact that we have not been able to get rid of the crime lords yet is kind of crazy to me. But if I look at our police station, is there anything we can do to maybe make that more likely to happen? 
Maybe it just takes a while to get it to work. Discovers the roles of citizens can be upgraded with a fire brigade. Maybe it doesn't pop up an alert. Let me pause for a second. If they identify what's up with citizens, can we not just go and look in our, um... Maybe it's in our people menu? One second. Unassigned manager 6. I should look in that. Special citizens 5. Crime lord! Oh, there we go. Jacinto Sanchez, our crime lord. How can I help? We can kill him. Oh, where'd he go? Amigo. We can kill him, bribe him, banish him, or discredit him. I'm sad. I need a bit of cheering up. A good disaster, maybe. I'm praying to for. I'm praying to God for a new cathedral where I can pray for Presidente's health. Well, that's pretty nice. Um, I should respect El Presidente. His mistakes make us better people. Okay. Um. If I bribe him, it influences their faction. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah. Mm. Or banish him? I'm gonna banish him, yes. Get rid of crime lords, okay. I've appropriated 4,900 from the banished family. I'm not sure I'm materializing a forklift on their house as we speak. Um. Cool, let's begin. So that should get rid of the Crime Lord, at least. Now that I understand how that works, I, I'm a little bit more comfortable with that. Uh, yeah, do we get anything for that? I forgot what we got for that. Maybe increased uh, happiness or something like that. It said suggested building Teamster's office facilitates the transportation of resources around the island. I haven't been paying attention to whether or not we need a Teamster's office. We already have one. Um, but whether or not we need a second Teamsters office, it seems like people seem c pretty convinced that that would be a good thing. So let's get that done. Our college is, is you know, having good stuff done on it as well. Uh, you know, military base, things are going pretty well. Let's increase the budget there a little bit. Can we upgrade it? Not until the Cold War. Okay. So we are going to align ourselves with the, uh, with the allies again. Or, sorry, ally ourselves with the allies again pretty soon. Build a mine? A coal mine for free. Where? Where would you suggest that? What we sh should probably do is send a, a quick, like, military expedition out in this general direction just to see if there's anything for us to get. I know it's going to take some of our soldiers, but I still think it's worth, uh, it's worth doing. Alright, so we'll wait for them to come back, and then we'll, uh, finish off this alliance. Or, we'll, we'll start this alliance, I should say. Housing happiness still sucks. Do we have more new civilians? Um, I don't think any new civilians came on the ship. Which is kind of surprising to me, but it's okay. We have uh, plenty of money, great approval ratings, 12 unemployed people with zero open jobs, but also zero homeless. How can you be mad about the housing situation when there's zero damn homeless? Now, there will be eight jobs when this college finishes. Maybe we want to start, like, another uh, plantation or something like that, or is there, are there any other... In, like, we could build an observatory, yes, but we have to let people actually get to it, which seems annoying. Um, what, do, what do we build? Um, ancient ruins. Provides entertainment for richer citizens, must be placed on a deposit for jobs. We could build a cabaret or an opera house, um, but a cabaret gives us way more jobs. Hmm. What's our, like, entertainment happiness? 29. Pretty bad. Crime safety is really good, though. Um, if entertainment happiness is so bad, I say we build. Like, maybe two restaurants, so we'll put, like, one right there, and, uh, build, like, a second restaurant over near the college. Am I a businessman, or what? Just make sure this one sells Chinese food until 3 a.m., and this one only serves non-threatening pseudo-foreign takes on American dishes, and we should be in, uh, good standing here. So, fruit exports almost done, meat exports closing in, meat exports may actually finish first, to be honest with you. Um... Heck is that? It's just a rock. All right. Well, good to know, I suppose. We, uh, I've had some people be concerned. By the way, who's this guy? Good it's a police officer, probably. No, I don't know who that is. Then a chap on the street told me that salvation is knocking on our door. I thought he was a priest, although it is possible he was simply drunk. All right, build one religious building. That seems super easy as well. Um. We'll build a... Can't build a cathedral, so we'll build a church. Why not? We should build a newspaper, maybe, as well. That'll probably increase our liberty stat, if I had to guess. There's already a church over here. Maybe we'll build it in the, uh, the new part of town. Like here. And what about a newspaper? 
Increases liberty in the vicinity. So it makes more sense to build it kind of over here, I would suggest. Maybe like that. Doesn't really matter which way our buildings are facing, I think. Oh, another task already? The great communist revolution started in Russia. Unfortunately, it was a resounding success. Now they have no one to revolt against. Pay 10,000 to import the communist revolution. What could possibly go wrong? The revolution is its own reward. But have a little something extra from its fruits. Let's take two free tenements as a result. Um, seems like a pretty decent reward. And again, we'll put these in the college area of town. Second tenement for free. There we go. So now we should have way more room on the island for people to actually uh, move into. Got a lot more money as a result of that. And we're about to ally ourselves again. Will we be able to repel the invasion this time? I don't know, but I think we're definitely in a much better standing. Uh, you know, with two squadrons of tanks. In the meantime, though, I'm just going to wait for our people to come back. And then when they come back, I'll probably end this episode and we'll tackle everything else in the next one. It's only 1926. Things are going pretty well, though. You know, a population of 200 here. It's probably a, you know, a reduction. It's probably 274,000, given the amount of stuff we've got going on here. But that's a lot of people to simulate. All right, they're back inside of the military base. So, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and have enjoyed, uh, you know, the rise of the Durst dynasty so far. But if you have, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.